Welcome back you guys. If you are new to this channel, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I've sold in this last week. And I've already recorded when you, you got by the time it got sold. So I just want to talk to you guys um, if it's if it's worth it selling on eBay and TCG your single bulks, most likely your reverse hollows and all the stuff that you get from the from the opening or the extra stuff that you get from opening packages of Pokemon cards and what whatnot. But <clears throat> at the end of this video, or at at the end of me showing you guys what I've sold, we will be opening up this Ayono Premium Collection box, this little milk carton one. So enjoy the video. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the first sale. All right, so we got our first sale of this week. Um, it's not typically a single cards, however, this is the Build and Battle uh, promo deck that came with Obsidian Flames, as you can see right there. Uh, I, did, I did sell this for $11. Alright, so we made two sales today. It'll be the Giovanni Charisma from 151. Sold this for $1.93 shipped. And this one... The trap, trap tricks, Dionea, Dionea, however you pronounce that thing, could never pronounce it. This one sold for uh, four seventy three on TCG. We Shit. got our fourth item here. This is the fourth item we sold this week. This one sold for a dollar ninety three again, with the fees and the shipping. I got like seventy four cents from this sale. So this is our fifth and sixth sale this week. And we have sold, I know this is not a single bulk, but we have sold a Lost Origin uh, Player's Guide, believe it or not. I do sell these for between 6 to $7, depending on the Player's Guide and the popularity. So this one did sell for $7, um, of course, including shipping and all that stuff. So this, this is normally how I ship it. You can see the envelope right there. Three stamps, because it's... Uh, the only thing I don't like about that is it doesn't have a tracking number, so hoping that it'll receive it, the, the, the buyer will receive this. That's the only thing I don't like sh about this one, because it could ship this on a regular tracking uh, padded envelope, but that's like $4, so there's really no room for me to make money off of these. It's $4.69 for like shipping, and then minus the fees and all that stuff, makes uh, probably make like $1.50 for these. If I were to go that route, so that's the reason why I use stamps. So at least I could still walk away with four dollars in my pocket, right? Um, <clears throat> and then I did sell all these three to one buyer. Again, another eBay. Uh, I did sold all three for like six dollars and eighty-three cents. I walked away with like three dollars something. So it's still a, a huge gain for this so one. So we made another sale. This time it's from TCG Player. This is about the seventh item or sale I've done this whole week. I still have two more days until Saturday, so this is what I have sold on TCG. This one sold for $0.48 cents plus $1.22 for the we shipping. We got eight item right here. Where we did sell this Daisy's Help in eBay. Uh, I did sell this for $1.93, including shipping. So, pretty much I've sold, what, seven items? Eight? I can't remember. <laughs> you guys know because you guys just watched the video. But anyways, out of all those things that i've sold i was able to make this is already after fees and after shipping i was able to make 19 dollars and 54 cents and i did pay seven dollars and 68 cents on fees and ten dollars and 15 cents on shipping so as you see i was able to make 19 dollars in one week now granted i've only listed the reverse on eBay and <clears throat> most likely 151 as you see in this video and I haven't really made enough sales on TCG that's because I've only listed Pokemon Go so that's actually on me I just got done listing the crown Zenit um, this week so but I'm gonna be changing things out because when I I'm probably just gonna be focusing on the game the 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 um, what do you call this? The cards that they use for the games. Because I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos regarding about that. And most likely people are searching for... What do you call this? 
searching for <clears throat> the the playability of the card. So they they mo most of these people they're actually looking for the gameplay, the playability, the card that's available to play. That's a nice sleeve right there. I did pay uh, thirty two dollars for this Iono box. It's pretty cool. Very very nice sleeve. I don't even want to open this, <laughs> but <clears throat> here's that pink dice. So yeah, I lost my thought. Anyways. Um, so I'm going to be focusing on selling cards that you can use uh, for competitions, basically. So I'm going to be changing that stuff around. Because right now, like I said, I've listed only... Very hard to tell Ayono there, but in a certain angle, you can see her. There you go. Alrighty, but that's a nice looking card. <clears throat> and let's, we're going to go see from that. So... I think the hard part about selling CCG bulk is actually organizing your inventory because I've listed, uh, what do you call this? I've listed Pokemon Go and Crown Zenit and I'm already at the $4,000, 4000 I'm sorry, 4000 cards and those are just the two sets. The beautiful Yono right there. I like that stamp right there. I do believe you get three of these. There you go. And the promo art. I do like the texture on this promo card. I will actually be buying more of this Ayono just for seal. This is actually one of the sealed collections I don't mind collecting. But anyways, <coughs> here's the deck box for that. Like for example, this deck box. I will sell these. I don't know yet. I don't know how much it is going to go for. But I will sell that deck box because I, I don't really have time to play the local. I do want to play it, but I don't have time. The time. It's actually rigid to play in this game locally I do play on TCG so that's what I'm gonna base it off and we should get two temporal one paradox one obsidian scarlet and lost origin all right so um, I'm gonna be continuing listing on TCG trying to reach level four so that way I could sell more of the single bulks more in that video later I guess <laughs> but we did get a lost origin in this one there's that not when we talking now that you guys have an idea of what it, oh, white code card. <laughs> now that you guys have an idea of what your, what it seems like selling reverse hollows on eBay and TCG, uh, hopefully if you guys go that route, you could try selling your cards. But see like none of these, none of these cards are um, sellable. Unless it's like reverse and Ariados and a very playable card, so. I didn't even get a trainer card except for Fantina. I'm not sure if Fantina is still in the rotation, but that's how I sell my Pokemon single bulk. Well, that's what I'm heading towards, so I still got a lot of sets to list, like the rest of the Sword and Shields. I still got to sell those. Um, but right now, I think I'm going to be focusing on selling Scarlet and Violet, Obsidian Flames, and um, what do you call this? Uh, Paradox Rip. And the damn fates and all that stuff because like this one I could sell this because this are very playable card and nothing on that one very playable card and they do sell when it comes to the playable card so that's the reason why I just want to focus on Scarlet Violet and see if we can raise the sale up on TCG I'm not too worried about eBay because it does sell like I just made a sale today but you guys will see that in the next video but <clears throat> we'll see we'll see how that goes Got Trevnaught, Bella Bolt, Reverse Charmander, I do like this artwork. Reverse Toxel, and our hollow is Covilin. So nothing for that Obsidian Flame. That sucks. <laughs> Obsidian Flame is actually one of my favorite. All right, <clears throat> now we got Paradox Rip. Hopefully we can get uh, some good cards on this one. There's no hits yet out of three packs from this Iono pack. All right, come on, now, you know. Give me something. Dottler, Toxel, Lipard, Beluza. That's a playable card like this one. So I could sell this on TCG because it is very playable. Reverse Bound Suite. Same thing with Bound Suite, especially with that Serena deck. Reverse Curse Duster. Do we have something behind it? Yes, we do. It's a full art. <laughs> Again. <laughs> All right, you know what? I will take a. Armor Rogue, a Mega Man, basically. Look how similar that thing looks to Mega Man. I'll take an Armor Rogue EX Mega Man, basically. 
So we got our first hit right there. Now we're moving on to Temporal Forces, one of the pack that just came out that has a very, very, uh, according to YouTube, um, have a very difficulty pulling an SIR. So are we going to pull it on this Iona box? I do hope so. Get a Mr. Mime. That's actually probably one of the cutest Mr. Mime I've seen. Not going to lie. <laughs> Bianca's Devotion, Iron Jugulus, Lycanroc, Reverse Rebombi, Reverse Rabska, and our rare <laughs> Sobutrio EX. <laughs> Not the EX I wanted to pull from Temporal Forces, but you know what? This is the first hit from Temporal Forces. I have not opened Temporal Forces yet. This is actually the first time, so I will take that book trio. Why not? All right, last pack magic. This time we're gonna get that SIR, right? We're not gonna end with that book trio and with that Mega Man. Got Relor, Ponyta. That's a nice artwork for that Ponyta. Chatot, Cottony, Bronze Zone, Ancient Booster Energy Capsule, Mouthful. Iron Treads, it's weird looking art. Reverse Raichu, that is a nice art right there. I don't mind getting that. That's actually pretty sweet. Reverse Lycanroc, and uh, a holographic Bramblegast. All right, and that is it for this video. Let me know if this is the type of videos you guys wanna watch or see or whatever. Um, and then we'll do more, another, I'll do another video of what I made. Uh, from today until the uh, following week or the whole week basically. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.